In this problem, we've got a bird flying with a speed of 18 meters per second over water when it accidentally drops a 2 kilogram fish. It says if the altitude of the bird is 5.4 meters and friction is disregarded, what is the speed of the fish when it hits the water? Okay, so let's look. So we've got an initial speed of 18 meters per second. We're looking for a final speed. Okay. Because it accidentally drops a two kilogram fish, so that's my mass. So the altitude of the bird is 5.4 meters, so it starts at 5.4 meters. So HI is 5.4 meters, and HF would be the water, so I would say zero. Okay, trying to find the speed of the fish when it hits the water. Okay, nothing's being stretched or compressed, but go ahead and write out your conservation of mechanical energy. Get initial kinetic plus initial gravitational potential plus initial elastic potential is equal to initial or final kinetic energy plus final gravitational potential plus final elastic potential. Okay, we know we're not using anything stretched or compressed. Okay. All right. So the bird is flying to the right. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. So the bird is flying this way. It's going he's 5.4 meters above the water. He drops a fish, the fish is going to fall like this, and we're wanting to find VF for the fish. Okay. Um, we know that we can uh, rewrite everything out uh, for what we have. We've got a final height of zero, which means my final gravitational potential energy will be zero. So I've got an initial kinetic energy plus an initial gravitational potential energy. And it's going to all turn into final kinetic energy. Okay. You can go ahead and write these out or go ahead and expand this formula. One half times mass times initial speed squared plus mass times g times my initial height. It's going to be equal to one half times my mass times the final speed squared. Okay, none of these terms are zero. We've already taken care of all that. I have one half times two times the initial speed is 18 meters per second squared plus two kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times 5.4 meters. Not all that is going to equal one half um, times two kilogram times VF squared. So let's figure out what all this is going to equal. Okay, so I've got one times 18 squared because half of two is one. Okay, and 18 squared is 324. So I've got 324 joules just from like initial kinetic energy plus. 2 times 9.81 times 5.4 so plus like 106. Oh my gosh, my phone keeps messing up. Okay, anyways, so 324 joules plus 106 joules is going to be equal to VF squared because half of 2 is 1, so might as well just do that. Okay, so we have a total of. 430 joules um, initially, that's going to be equal to 1 times Vf squared. Let me take the square root of both sides. So Vf should be about 21. Oops. We still got to divide by 1 kilogram, so that this end up, ends up being meters squared per second squared. Meters per second. Okay, there we go.